Yellowstone supervolcano eruption shock. X-ray images reveal source of heat under western USA. Sebastian Ketley of Express UK reports Yellowstone supervolcano. The scans traced the supervolcano's deadly eruptions to an ancient ocean plate under the western United States and not to heat drawn from the Earth's core. Scientists studying Yellowstone supervolcano caldera uncovered this shocking new source of volcanism beneath the National Park. And it has to do with the West Coast and the West Coast volcanoes. Geologists from Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University of Virginia Tech believe Yellowstone is powered by a gigantic ocean plate beneath the western United States. Until recently, scientists believed Yellowstone's source is powered directly from the Earth's core, like the erupting Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, but new studies published in the journal Nature Geoscience by Ying Zhu, an associate professor at Virginia Tech, shows a different story concerning Yellowstone's volcanism. Professor Zhu said, in this research, there was no evidence of heat coming directly up from the Earth's core to power the surface volcano at Yellowstone. Well, that has to do also with what we recently found from the magma body coming from Mexico-US border that's under Ridgecrest, under Long Valley Caldera supervolcano, and then turning like a tentacle tentacles to the west coast, tentacles towards Yellowstone is perhaps because of the cap, the broken pieces that are pressing down on that magma and uh, causing it to flow in various directions. Now Professor Zhu said, in this research there was no evidence of heat coming directly up from Earth's core to power Yellowstone. Instead, the underground images we captured suggests that Yellowstone volcanoes were produced by a gigantic ancient oceanic plate that dove under the western United States about 30 million years ago. Now today I just posted very important findings. The first time I had ever uh, found those articles and uh, they're titled Yellowstone Volcanoes 12 Past Super Eruptions Evidence Cassia Hills Hebgen Lake 7.5 plus magnitude earthquakes possible. So that was the hotspot pathway that it took from the west coast through Idaho up from southwest to northeast into the track of where we have Yellowstone today. And those super eruptions were a lot bigger than the one that we had 2.1 million years ago which was huge compared to the 640,000 year ago eruption at Yellowstone, which was the recent caldera forming uh, that we see in Yellowstone. So they were huge. Yellowstone volcano hotspots track ancient super eruptions significantly larger than expected. That's the other title to the other video. You see that a couple of videos back. Uh, I'll leave links below for you as well. So they were. Uh, an unbelievably uh, massive compared to uh, 640,000 years ago, which was the latest super eruption of Yellowstone. So the experts said Yellowstone eruptions are understood to have been extremely violent and explosive. Professor Zhu and her associates created X-ray-like images out of the Earth's interior with the aid of US array network of portable seismographs spread across the continental U.S. The researcher discovered an anomalous structure about 250 to 400 miles beneath the line of Yellowstone volcanoes. Professor Zhu said this evidence was in direct contradiction to the plume model. Roughly 16 million years ago, a gigantic ocean plate in the Pacific, dubbed the Phaleron Plate, wedged itself beneath the modern-day western United States. So, you know, 16 million years ago, the Earth looked a lot different than what it is today. I mean, basically, okay, 
in, in uh, the greater terms, basically the continents looked like where they are today, but they, they were still floating around, smashing into each other. The Phalerin plate crumbled into numerous pieces as a result, and a section of the subductive plate tore off and sunk into deep earth. The sinking section of the plate caused hot material to slowly creep upwards to form what today is known as the Yellowstone supervolcano chain. So the sinking section of the plate caused hot material to creep up. Professor Zhu said, the process started at the Oregon-Idaho border about 16 million years ago and propagated northwestward, forming a line of volcanoes that are progressively younger as they stretch northwest to present-day Wyoming. The previous accepted plume model of Yellowstone volcanism was used to explain the supervolcano's hotspot stretching from Oregon through Idaho, Wyoming, and the Midwest. But Professor Zhu said, the moving North American plate would have displaced the older volcanoes over the fixed position plume towards the Oregon-Idaho border. She said, it was always been, there has always been a problem and scientists have tried to come up with different ways to explain the cause of Yellowstone volcanoes, but it has been unsuccessful. The last known Yellowstone volcano eruption is estimated to have occurred some 630,000 years ago, but there are no models to predict when Yellowstone might blow again. By applying the X-ray-like technology, the Yellowstone caldera can help scientists further study the oceanic plate that appears to have driven Yellowstone volcanism millions of years ago. Professor Zhu said, this is the first time the new imaging theory has been applied to this type of seismic data, which allowed us to see anomalous structures in the Earth's mantle that would otherwise not be resolvable using traditional methods. And she says the next step will be to increase the resolution of the X-ray-like images of the underground rock more detailed images of the unusual rocks in the deep earth will allow us to use computer simulation to recreate the fragmentation of the gigantic oceanic plate and test different scenarios of how rock melting and magma feeding system work for the Yellowstone volcanoes. Now we have a tremendous amount of earthquake activity around Yellowstone today and that will be my next video. And, uh, of course, it will be combined with what's going on with Ridgecrest because that's the same magma body that we have in that area. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.